Another highlight of opening day of the Expo is the Willie B. Withers Luncheon. That's where Swisher Sweets announces their annual Southeast Farmer of the Year. Keeping with tradition, the selection of farmers was phenomenal again this year. But with every story, you know, it has to come to an end for some. Only one could walk away with the grand prize. Damon Jones has that story. Hundreds of political, educational, and agribusiness leaders from all over the Southeast were gathered under one roof for the annual Willie B. Withers Sunbelt Ag Expo luncheon. And that included Governor Nathan Deal, who showed his appreciation for agriculture and what it means to the state. As much as we are proud of having technology companies and other high-tech companies come to our state and call Georgia home, we still acknowledge that the number one economic driver in the state of Georgia is agriculture and agribusiness. Deal also took in all the sites at the expo, which included checking out the latest technology on the farm. Needless to say, he came away very impressed. I continually am amazed by the advances in the technology, in the types of equipment, and the specificity with which that equipment is designed to try to deal with what is an acknowledged difficulty, and that is the availability of qualified labor. The technology that has come to the farm is as sophisticated as the technology that appears in the major boardrooms of any company in this country. And the main attraction for this luncheon was the announcement of the Swisher Suites Sunbelt Expo Southeastern Farmer of the Year. And that award would go to North Carolina's Danny Cornegay, who says he doesn't take the honor lightly. It's great. I mean, it's great. I never thought about anything like this. We just work because we enjoy working, but it is a true honor. I, I kind of didn't want to do it to start with because of the time, and they all wanted me to do it, and I really didn't expect because there's, there's a lot of good competition. Very good competition. He beat out nine other state winners, including Georgia's James Lyles, who considers it an honor just to be named a finalist. Oh, it was great. I mean, this is an, a great honor. Uh, the guys are, are really good when you read the bios about them and get to know them. I mean, it's a gr great group of men to be up there with, and I'm just really honored to have been one of them. As for what Cornegay credits his success to, it's part effort and part perseverance. It's hard work. It's rewarding. You just got to, it's something you just got to love and stick with because the weather, weather has got everything to do with it. I mean, you plant all the best seed you want to and, and cultivate it, keep the weeds out. Still, you've got to have the right weather. While there could only be one winner among the group, it certainly is a day each of these 10 finalists will remember. I mean, you know, this is good. My, my family, we make a living and, and they, they appreciate what I do and that means the world to me. And and uh, for to be recognized by other people, I mean, it really does mean a lot. Uh, you don't look for it, but it's appreciated. Reporting from Moultrie, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.